Not sure how many of you have actually dipped and dabbed and dabbled into NFTs yet, but that's my passion. It's always been my passion. If you go to my Telegram and here, and this is what I always say. NFTs are for passion. DeFi is for stashing, right? So I've had NFTs since 2017, which was this. This was my very first NFT, which was my ENS domain. And these I bought in 2018. I have them in on two different uh, wallets, and that's my other Twitter. It's all virtual reality stuff, really, but you see, this was from the same collection. These were the Pepe Daps, um, which were kind of like a derivative of the Rare Pepes, which are very, very, very highly valued. Um, let's see. Rare Pepes were some of the very first NFTs, in case you guys didn't know. Rare Pepe's came out a while ago. Okay, here we go. Wikipedia. Go to Wikipedia. And Rare Pepe is a type of crypto art created by various artists worldwide between 2016 and 2018. See, they came out in 2016. Rare Pepe's, I believe, were out before CryptoPunks, to be honest. Um, Okay. You see, they launched in June 2017. So Rare Pepe's were out before CryptoPunks. So anywho, that was just a quick little uh, history lesson there. So the Pepe daps that I have were kind of like a, like a derivative, but the artwork is insane. And some of you have seen this the artwork from Pepe's and just have no idea where it came from. Um, Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's stuff that a lot of people use and you just don't, don't realize where it came from. So, um, you know, I'm kind of shocked that these still haven't gotten um, a lot of notoriety just yet. Um, you know, they've been in the cut, man. They've been in the cut. But if you, if you look, and what, what these were, apps were created on an um, ERC-420. That was the um, type of, uh, it wasn't a 1115 or 1155 or ERC-721. These were ERC-420s. That's how they were created. And, um, you know, there's information on it in their actual telegram, which is kind of dead right now. Um, cause this was a project that, you know, we just bought the artwork, like the art. It wasn't, it wasn't really anywhere to flip, but here you go. The medium article introducing ERC 420, the dank standard. A few days ago, we released a set of a legend series cards on play pay deck. So there you go. They were they were ERC four twenties. ERC four twenties. There goes the Vitalik one, which was pretty cool. And yeah, Pepe Dap is not an ERC twenty one because we are definitely not an NFT like the other ERC seven twenty one projects. Um, but yeah. I'll, I'll link this article down below in case you want to know a little bit more about NFT history. But yeah, these are the Pepe Daps. These are some of the cool ones. But let's take a look at the collection. Pepe Dap. And what we had to do, we had to remit. There was someone who was gracious enough to create a contract that we were able to go ahead and just remit these so that we can into 721s, I believe. Um, hold on, where's the pin? Boop, boop. So this guy wrote some code for an airdrop Merkle route for the old Pepe cards, Pepe Dap cards, not the rare Pepe. If you want to claim some Brat Pepe's at ERC eleven fifty five standard, so they can be moved to OpenSea. So yeah, so we had to go through this whole little process in order to wrap them in a, a ERC eleven fifty five standard. See, so that's how I'm able to see mine on OpenSea. Because if not. You were only able to see it like on their website for some reason, which this was their website. Boom. I know some of you have seen this. I think the one guy is Chainlink something. He's a big Chainlink uh, Marine, but he's, he had this, this one as his uh, profile pic for quite some time. Um, let's enter. Connect sites, manually connect to the current site. Bada boom, bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. You know, as a current website tried to use to remove Windows 3 if to be broken. All right. 
And the site could probably be broken by now. Unfortunately, you can't, but you can still go and see which ones were reminted. But I'm sure not all of them were reminted. This was, there's probably people that have these uh, Pepe Dap cards in their wallets and just totally forgot about them. But this is what uh, some of the collection looked like. This one was cool, the fresh Pepe, because it's <laughs> the Elon Moist. Um, there you go. Look at that. That's so cool, man. And these were these were created back in 2018, dude. I was buying NFTs back in 2018. And I was going through a tough little time at the time, so I couldn't get it. I would have bought, I would have bought them all. And most of these are the Genesis collection. Not all of them though. Like the Elon Moist, I think definitely Vitalik. All the ones that I have were part of the Genesis collection. This when Mark Zuckerberg did the uh the whole metaverse thing, this one went up in price. People were actually buying this. Look at how the eyes move, which is pretty cool. Um CEO of Frogbook enjoys a nice glass of ice juice. <laughs> Negative one thousand online privacy. And this is the price. Like these are the ones that are listed on OpenSea, and these are the prices and the activity. So someone bought. Oh snap! A month ago, someone bought one for point three. It's not bad. It's not a bad price for the Mark Zuckerberg Pepe because you'll see one sold for point four. Okay, I thought I thought one of them sold for ETH. Well, that's the current price anyway. Uh, yeah, people had it up. And these were super duper cool, man. Uh, the real Satoshi, Craig, Craig, right? Uh, this one, this one was probably the most expensive one at the time, and this one was a copy, basically another derivative of the original um, rare Pepe. Let's see, rare Pepe Satoshi. Yeah, you see? See? And this was the Pepe Dap version. This was the rare Pepe version, the original one. But this, the artwork, I actually like the artwork better on the Pepe Dap ones. Look at this. Satoshi Light, <laughs> just hot off. This was when he dumped. <laughs> this is, uh, this is when he dumped all his Litecoin. <laughs> it's not funny, man. I think that was horrible, bro. I'm not going to lie. Uh, first Metaverse auction series, 1,500 bids. You see that? Like the Rare Pepe's are very, very, very popular, especially within certain some circles, certain circles. Um, yeah. So this was just a quick little history lesson. You can do a little bit more research. On these, you can just go to my wallet if you if you need to find a, the the Pepe Dat remix that you can you can browse through them. Um, these are just cool collectibles, man. Oh, this was one that I really wanted, really really bad at the time. I can't believe it's actually almost three ETH is what people are asking for it. Oh my god, one sold for point one five six months ago. Wow, yeah, but this is I have like two of these. Yeah, I have like two of those. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. So let's see, which ones do I have again? Let's check them out real quick before I close this out. Oh, this one. I bought this one. This was an amazing moment, in case you don't know. Roger Vera, who forked Bitcoin and created uh, Bitcoin Cash. He was on a on a on a video being interviewed and he was just cursing the guy out because the guy was trying to say that he's a scammer for trying to do that, for trying to fork the Bitcoin and create Bitcoin cash and make it seem like it's a real Bitcoin. Uh, it was a whole big controversy back in 2017. Um, but yeah, this one's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. I like how they put the tears in his eyes. The artwork is great, man. The artist is amazing, bro. I wonder where he's at. I can probably find them. Um, Frog McAfee, RIP, rest in power, safe travels, whatever you're doing. I don't, I don't even think this man's soul could rest. He's probably out causing havoc wherever he's at. Uh, but here, the uh, 
The Pepe Dab Remit is a community-owned, transparent airdrop to holders of the original Pepe Dab collectible. The original Pepe Dab wasn't written to be ERC-21 or 1155-compliant, and the new wrapper contract is 1155-compliant, making it tradable on OpenSea, Rarible, etc. Pepe Dab Remit is run by members of the original Pepe Dab community. Members, not the creators, because the creators just dipped on us. A full snapshot of ownership was taken at Ethereum block, blah, 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 for the specific query. This is a completely fair, no fee airdrop. Just visit the claim UI and you can claim any cards you own at that block. So, you know, thanks a lot for whoever it was that created this contract that allows us to switch out, you know, move our Pepe Dab cards over to um, OpenSea. But yeah, this is an OG. This is an OG, definitely. No, um, there's no argument there. You can't argue that this and is a 420 probably the only 420 ERC 420s ever created, which is so dope, so dope, definitely. Hold on, and before we leave, I just want to see my other one. I just want to show them off to you guys. And then these, this one, this one, you can actually, you were actually able to hear music on the original website you were actually able to hear the song this actual song that's an actual song um it's called satellite let's see see satellite vinyl see it's it's very real (laughs) yep see it's an actual record for those that don't know, a little bit of the um, history of Pepe. Uh, but yeah, so I have that one. This one was actually given out for free. It was a free airdrop. You just had to claim it. I forgot how it went. But yeah, I have the gift of rare bacon is bestowed upon you. Hotel for increased magic. Consumed for tasty taste. <laughs> and then, of course, I showed you this one. Frogged enough. Rest in power. I have two. Two of people that are not here with us anymore. Classic, classic, classic. So yeah, that's a quick quick little brief history on the Pepe Dap NFTs.